Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the Square Hue Belly Dance Collection Manny I'd like to share with you. I started off with Neltix Formula 2 and Pretty Serious Presents, just a white cream, and I topped it off with Posh and got it to dry down. I'll be using my Simply Peel today. Um, it's about dried up. It's almost a full bottle. It just, I, I've just, I'm not going to buy any more of it. I'm done. I'm going to stick to my cheap latex that I get off of eBay. This was, <laughs> I thought, well, I found it and I thought, well, I need to use it. And it was just a goopy mess. And I mean, it's almost a full bottle. And I know I sealed it up really well when I closed it. It just, it doesn't store well, I don't think. Not for me. So I'm just going to stick with my cheap stuff. But I decided to use it since I had it out. And I'll be using all of the Square Hue polishes from this month's box, and it was the Belly Dance Collection. Listed all the names of the polishes down below. And I'm just doing a smushy on most of my nails. I'm going to do it on my thumb, pointer, middle, and pinky. And I'm going to do a gradient on my ring finger with the same colors. And I'm going to use this goofy little bunny stamper. I guess it needs to be primed. You can see it was kind of blank spacing up in there, but it, it worked for what I needed it for today. I just thought these polishes would make a nice fall mani. Um, I know the pink really isn't there, but you know, our leaves turn kind of red here, so pink wasn't too far off. And I'm just doing the dots down on the tape and you just kind of smushing them together and then applying them to my nails until I get them the way I want them. And I'm just going to keep doing that same process until I just see the opacity that I want, the kind of design that I'm going for, you know, enough of each color on each nail. And I just go back over them, kind of letting the paint dry a little bit in between each one of them. Trying to get over to my side walls. But I really do love this technique. Um, you know, I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but I assure you in the end, I was very pleased with it. So, you know, sometimes our manicures do start out just looking kind of funky and they turn out wonderful. So you gotta, you gotta just bear with it until you get to the end of it and then make up your mind. And remember, it's just nail polish. If you don't like it, take it off, you know, start over. So there we go. I've got this curvy nail here. I gotta get some on that tip. And then back on this thumb, I just cannot get the stamper up in that little groove that's missing. So I'm just gonna, you know, keep messing with it and see if I can get it up in there. Nope. It's just not happening. I have to go to plan B. I'm just gonna break out the brush and smear in some of the colors. Cheater trick from Tina. <laughs> And I'm going to do that on a couple of nails. I mean, it's a smishy after all. So there we go. Just kind of push it down, tap it down, make it blend in a little. And now we're going to head on into the gradient. I am using a dampened sponge. I've had a lot of people ask, why do I do that? I don't know why I do it. I just think it works better for me. And I've done it for so long that it's part of my routine and my habit. I don't know who I picked it up from, but I always dampen my sponge before gradient. In my mind, I think it makes the polish not soak into the sponge as bad, and it doesn't take as much polish. And it also, for me, I think it helps blend the colors just a little bit better. I could be wrong. I'm not going to test the theory. Theory. I'm just going to keep doing it my way because that's how I do it. <laughs> And I really loved how these went with the gradient. I was just so happy. I, in fact, I was at this point, I was thinking, I should have done them all like this. So we're going to remove this latex, the Simply Peel. And I'm not anti-Simply -Sim Peel. I just, you know, for as much as I paid for that bottle, I'm a little disappointed that, you know, it's getting all goopy-goopy and I'm not going to be able to use it up. And, you know, for the cost of it, I, it just disappoints me like my little cheap stuff off of eBay so there we go and I know it still looks like a hot mess we got some cleaning up to do um, so much so that I have to break out a q-tip to get some of the bigger chunks off 
and away and gone. And then I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and do my fine detail cleanup. I use the Sonia Kushex Tools number 27 brush and just pure acetone. And I'm going to top it off with Posh Top Coat. And now it starts looking like an okay manicure. Something about that magical top coating on Smishy's ingredients just make them look so finished and smooth. And we got to break out witty because I'm messy. I'm always messy. But I do love me some magical top coat. Mm, mm, mm. Some good stuff. And this manicure would have been fine to wear it just like it is. But I figured since it was one of my first fall autumn manicures that I would go ahead and stamp on it. So there we go. I like it. You guys know I like the crazy stuff. And this is You Are Beautiful plate number 18. And I'll be using Nicole Diary NS03, the gold stamping polish. I'm going to use that bunny stamper and my Fabio Nail Scraper. Trying to use some of these products that I own, the things I had to have. And I'm just plopping these images on my nails and cleaning off the plate in between with acetone. And I'm going to use a different image for my accent nail over the gradient. I'm going to use this one that was above the other one. There we go. Plop, plop. There we go. Now, this polish did not clean up at all with the tape method. Um, I think it has in the past. I just don't know what the difference was. Maybe I let it dry too long. So, I'm doing some serious hard cleanup with my cleanup brush and acetone. But as I'm doing it, I'm staring at that beautiful manicure, and I'm okay with the cleanup because the manicure is so pretty. Now, my fingertips remain a little gold shiny. I've got like it's got on body dust or something, but that's okay. We're going to finish this one off with some Posh Top Coat and seal all that stamping in. And I am in love with this one. I just really, really loved how it turned out. And I hope you liked it also. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And if you've done your first fall manicure, here's my swatch photo. So that is it. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.